Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country. In case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, over the weekend, Stephen Kalozo Musyoka and Eugene Wamalwa attended some functions in Kajiado. And I was reading in the papers yesterday that the events in Kajiado and the move by Kalozo Musioka and Eugenio Malwa are actually causing some discomfort among some Raila Odinga's allies. In this particular video, I want to talk about the move by Kalozo Musioka and Eugenio Malwa and why personally, I strongly believe that the move is good for both Raila Odinga, Stephen Kalozo Musioka, Azimio in general, and Eugene Wamalwa. And for those who've been following this channel, I've been watching for Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. And uh, early this year, I offered my unsolicited advice to Kalonzo Musyoka. And I remember on that particular day, Kalonzo Musyoka had joined the LSK who were demonstrating against William Ruto's attacks on the judiciary. And the photos which Kalonzo Musyoka posted on his Facebook page on that particular day were taken by a phone. And I remember in that particular video, I reminded Kalonzo Musyoka that he's currently a presidential candidate and therefore he should take whatever he's doing with the seriousness that it deserves. And I received a, a phone call from one of his handlers who told me that Kalonzo Musyoka listened to that advice. Someone forwarded it to him and he was going to change. And I can clearly see from that day up to now all the photos and the videos from Kalonzo Musyoka's Facebook page are actually very clear, which means he made the changes. And another thing I advised Kalonzo on that particular video was to start moving around. And I remember so well asking him if he can't get a place to visit, I could organize for him some event in Yakach. And uh, they also told me that I should start watching the space that Kalonzo Musyoka is going to start moving around. So when I saw Kalonzo Musyoka with Eugenio Malwa in Kajiado over the weekend, I was so happy that finally Kalonzo Musyoka is moving because Kenyans were even questioning whether Kalonzo Musyoka is ready for the presidency in 2027. But I was shocked to read that the move by Kalonzo is actually causing some discomfort amongst Raila Molodinga. I don't think so. But before I get into all those details, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. First of all, let me take you on that particular day. Kalonzo Musyoka attend Sunday service at Full Gospel Church in Kajiado. And you can clearly see Kalonzo Musyoka arriving there. <clears throat> then the next post was live, I think, when they were now speaking during the church service. Then uh, they also updated photos from that particular event, thanking the people of Kajiado for hosting them. Then they went and opened, Kalonzo went and opened Waipar Democratic Movement offices in Kitengela. The truth of the matter is that for Azimio to be strong, ODM must be strong, must be strong, Waipa must be strong, Na Kenya must be strong, Dap Kenya must be strong. So I am actually advocating for all the affiliate parties in Azimio to also proceed with opening branch offices. Then the next day, I mean on the same same day, they updated Kenyans on how Kalonzo was received in uh, Kajiado. And that's it. 
So for me that day, I was so happy and I'm shocked that from that day up to now, we are yet to see Kalonzo Musyoka. <clears throat> we are yet to see Kalonzo Musyoka in action again. But why would Rail Odinga allies be uncomfortable with Kalonzo Musyoka's moves? Because for me, the fact that Kalonzo Musyoka is moving and is strengthening uh, Wiper is good for both Rail Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka. The truth of the matter is that for Azimio to win in 2027, they must come up with a strategy. And that strategy might even mean Rail Odinga running as a presidential candidate, Kalonzo Musyoka running as a presidential candidate, even Martha Karwa or someone else from Mount Kenya running as a presidential candidate. It could be a strategy. And also, by strengthening these parties, it means that WAPA is strong, Kalonzo, I mean, uh, ODM is strong, so if they come together, it will be easy for them to mobilize. So before we get into all those details, in case you're watching the channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But before I dive in, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you guys to go and check out Inspire360 YouTube channel that is operated by one of our su subscribers here. I'm going to share the link in the comment section. I'm actually going to pin the link to that to that uh, page, to that channel, so that you can check it out. And in case you watch the videos there, you can just drop your comment and say Lima Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, why do I strongly believe that it is wrong for Rail Odinga's allies to be uncomfortable with the moves being taken by Eugene Omalwa and Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka? I think Eugene wanted me to remember the attack in Madare during the people's demonstrations. The right under the constitution. How you escaped because we were in the same car, Ukaniwacha Pali, I was dying. <laughs> because police were litupa, a live canister, it can get through the rear windscreen, it can go kandani ya iyo gari, it can pasuka. I could not breathe. I could not breathe. In the process, Eugene, at least, askari hawa ingine vijana wetu, badalo wa nifungulie ni escape, wanaskuma zaidi ni stoki. Fortunately, we are on our side of uh, Eugene. We have survived it all to tell the story. So we have come to Kajiado. To tell you that Kajiado is very important to all of us in this country. Kajiado is the example of how Kenyans can live together, regardless of what communities they come from. But in the, as you do so, Majority Leader and your team in the County Assembly, Akikisheni Ardi Watu wa Kajiado, Aita Nyakuliwa Vile Mbave, Ime Nyakuliwa Sofa. Number one, Kalonzo Musyoka must get out of the shadows of Raila Modolinga. Whether he's going to be Raila Odinga's running mate, whether Raila Odinga is going to support him, whether he's going to be on his own, he must get out of Raila Odinga's shadows. Because for a long time, most Azimio supporters were viewing Kalonzo Musyoka as someone who is not capable of managing a presidential campaign. One of the issues, and today I was talking to a very senior Azimio leader, and she told me that the problem with Azimio is that apart from Raila Odinga, you can't really point out who has the ability to campaign, who has the energy to campaign. So Kalonzo Musyoka must get out there. He must prove himself. So that even if you go and he decides to be Raila Odinga's running mate, he will be a different Kalonzo Musyoka. If Raila Odinga were to decide to support Kalonzo Musyoka, then people will say, Kalonzo Amejari, Amejaribu. Not just Kokande waiting for Raila Odinga to hold for an event, then waiting for Raila Odinga to endorse them. So for me, that move by Eugene Omalo <coughs> and Kalonzo Musyoka to start moving is very, very important. They must be allowed to continue. Number two, Kalonzo must also prove his ability to mobilize. There's no way you expect to be a presidential candidate if you can't mobilize. I expect to see Kalonzo Musyoka somewhere in Lamu, somewhere in Kilifi, somewhere in Busia, mobilizing leaders, even those including from Azimio, in mobilizing them and attending a church function, attending Harambe, like the way he did in, uh, in uh, Vehiga with the, the other day. 
So he must have those events so that he can prove that indeed he can mobilize. Because if he cannot prove that, and assuming Raila will say, okay, I'm supporting Kalozo Musyoka. If he can't mobilize, who will mobilize for him? Because the moment Kalozo Musyoka becomes the presidential candidate, let's say he becomes the Azimu presidential candidate, it will be him who will be the presidential candidate. It will be him who will ensure that votes are mobilized. It is him who will ensure that he's reaching out to others and bringing them to the party or to the coalition for that matter. So he must prove his ability to mobilize. And that is very, very important. If Kalonzo will not be able to do that, nobody will take him seriously. And this is the time for him to do that. Number three, it is also important, and I remember Raleigh Odinga saying it just the other day, I think it must have been in Kilifi, that a strong ODM, a strong wiper, a strong Nak Kenya is good for Azimio. Why? Because they must consolidate their bases. The face of Kalonzo Musioka must be seen in their strongholds. Kalonzo Musioka must go to Ukambani more and consolidate. Even if he's 100% sure that Ukambani will vote for him. Kalonzo Musioka must come to Lugonyanza. Organize an event. Even if it will be a small event, but he must. <coughs> but importantly, these events should focus on their stronghold. And that is the only way of locking William Ruto out of Azimio strongholds. Even if there is, Azimio will disintegrate, but William Ruto is locked out. You can only do that by moving out there. Speaking to people. People listening to him. Selling his policies so that people can, can buy. And because of that, I really support their move to start moving around. Number four, Kalonzo Musioka must also take away the limelight from Raila Amolodinga. The truth is, Kenya Kwanza is currently attacking Raila Amolodinga. So, someone else must also be able to go outside there and speak. And the way Kenya Kwanza are known, then they'll start attacking Kalonzo. By that, you'll be taking the limelight from Raila Amolodinga, which is important and for me, strategic. So that Kenyans will be like, Sasa Awa to a Kenya Kwanza wanna fight Kilamutu. Because of course we also know that there are serious issues affecting the country. But you know, it's easier for them to attack Raila. So Kalonzo must come out, go to these events, issues, <coughs> issue statements from these events, and allow Kenya Kwanza to react, provoke Kenya Kwanza, so that the limelight can be taken away from Raila Uginga. If that were to happen, then Rodriguez can also strategically take a bit of a break. If not, he can also strategically use other methods <laughs> to deal with the government. <laughs> and lastly, and this is also very important, cheating Kalozo Musioka not to move around is wrong because Kalozo Musioka must also raise his stakes in Azimio. Without raising his stakes in Azimio, Nobody is going to take him seriously, especially as new supporters. So he must get out there. Kalonzo must be seen to be doing something. Then when they sit on the table, then he can say, for me, I've covered this area. For me, I've been able to bring so and so to our side. Very, very important. So that when they'll be negotiating, he can say, I want to be the presidential candidate. And this is what I've done. Or, Raila will tell him, Kalonzo, the way things are, you can't support me. Because I can see you have done this, this, and that. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.